Welcome, and thank you for joining me in this tapping session for social awkwardness, aka I feel really socially awkward. <laughs> I can't tell you how refreshing it was last year when I went to this yoga teacher training program. It was like a 30-hour specialty certification program over the course of one weekend, 30 hours, three days. And Friday afternoon, we're all in this room together and we're about to start introducing ourselves and some anxiety kicked in for me. You know, it's the, oh my gosh, I'm going to be with these people all weekend. I hope they like me. I hope I connect with someone in this room. And oh my gosh, we're about to introduce ourselves. What am I going to say? What's interesting about me? What are all the questions I'm supposed to answer again? And, you know, just like getting spun up in my head. And then the first person goes to introduce herself and she's sitting right next to me and she says, yeah, I'm really socially awkward. And right there, you could feel this weight lifted in the room, like the seriousness lifted. And for me, especially, I was very grateful. Like, thank you. Thank you for acknowledging what I believe so many of us experience, and I know I'm experiencing right now, thank you for just putting it out there and acknowledging that this is a normal thing that hits all of us, you know, to some degree. So, and then I'm reminded of it a few days ago at my son's t-ball game, as I'm chatting with a couple of the moms that I'm interested in getting to know and something else was happening at the same time that was really distracting me. And I just felt like I really stumbled through that moment and um, was kicking myself afterwards. You know that it's awkward in the moment, but that it's like painful after the fact when you walk away carrying all that awkwardness. <laughs> so we're going to clear that shit. <laughs> and if this is your first time tapping, I invite you to pause here and go check out my intro to tapping video. There's a link for it in the description to this video. When you're ready, join me with your feet on the floor. If that feels good, let your hands rest in your lap and close your eyes for a moment. Let's take a couple breaths to connect with where you are right now. And as you settle into this space, I want you to notice the intensity or like the truth level of, of like how true it feels that, that this social awkwardness is an issue on a scale from one to 10, one being total ease, total mastery, 10 being, yeah, there's awkwardness and yes, there's some anxiety there. Get your number. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and follow along. Even though I feel so socially awkward, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I'm really judging myself for having this issue, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I wonder what the hell is wrong with me? And can this ever get better? Here I am showing up for myself. <sighs> so awkward. I feel so awkward. Why is this so hard for me? Why do I look away when I want to say hi? Why do I second guess myself and overthink so much what I'm going to say and do? Why is it so hard for me to relax and just freaking be myself. Why 
Why does it seem so easy for everyone else? I just wonder if it's even worth the effort. But I want to connect. I know I do. I'm craving connection. I'm craving friendship. I'm craving fun. Take a breath here. I want to expand my network with interesting, wonderful people. I want to be seen. I want to be known. But sometimes it's scary. What if I say the wrong thing? And it's boring or stupid or offensive. What if I do the wrong thing? What if I don't have any fun? What if it's a waste of my time? It can be scary to connect, to open myself to connection. but I'm not gonna give up. I remember that this is what I came here for. I came here to be myself in connection with other people. I came here to connect, to learn, to grow, to expand. And this is only bothering me because I care. This is only bothering me because it's showing me where I have room to expand. This is only bothering me because there is so much more for me to experience. And so I enter in. I choose expansion. I choose connection. complete with the vulnerability it comes with. I might say something or do something that I wish I wouldn't have, but I can let that shit go. It doesn't define me. I choose expansion. I choose to love myself through this process. I choose to follow what feels good.
And if it gets awkward, I'll bring myself back to the present moment. I'll look around and see what I can see. I'll open my ears and hear what I can hear. I'll use my senses to bring myself back to the present moment. The present moment will help me get out of my head. And when I can notice where I am and what's around me, I can respond in whatever way feels good to me. <sighs> Stay here for a minute. I don't have to perform. I don't have to perform for anyone else and especially for myself. I will have fun with this process because I know that I'm still learning. I'll allow any awkwardness, any anxiety to bring me into a deep place of self-love. Into a deep place of self-acceptance. Because I choose to expand. Let your hands rest in your lap. Close your eyes for a moment here. Breathing and noticing whatever you can notice about your energy and how it's shifting. And here, notice what your number is now on a scale from one to 10, the intensity, the truth of your social awkwardness. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. If your number is still a three or four or higher, um, do this again. The longer you tap, the more effective it is. And um, what has worked really well for me too is to do a tapping like this before I go somewhere. If I notice that there's any anxiety brewing around it, um, tapping beforehand can really help clear the way <laughs> to an enjoyable event um, experience. And um, I'll remind you, I have other full guided tapping sessions on this channel for you. So perhaps there's something related that will help clear this to an even stronger degree. Uh, I, I invite you to like and subscribe so you can stay tuned for more. And let me know how I can support you. My contact info is in the description. I will see you in the next video.